नमस्कार दोस्तों हैव यू एवर वंडर व्हाई कैसीनो और द हाउस ऑलवेज रिमेन प्रॉफिटेबल इन द लॉन्गर रन सो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो दिस वुड बी द सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ द स्टैटिस्टिक सीरीज इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सॉ हाउ कैसीनो ऑलवेज रिमेन प्रॉफिटेबल इन द लॉन्गर रन इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी हैव ऑल्सो डन सम एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द लास्ट वीडियो if if you recall the red and blue balls combinations the game which we have played but if i say to you what if if you don't have any resource to conduct the experiment perhaps one does not want to repeat the experiment and what if if they want to do it with the different combinations so this is the precise conversation we are going to do in this video and trying to find out the all the answers which which we are going to discuss on this so please stay till the end you will learn lot of things here so just to recap from the last video if you did not watch the video i highly recommend you go and check on this i button and see the video so three major things we have uh, seen in the last video first uh, we identify the what is random variables then we also discuss about the probability distribution and the expected value sara game isi expected value ka hai so the question which the casino questions we are going to give the answer in the last sections of the video but just to try to recap what is random variable this is because this is very important and one should has to understand this concept so let's read read the random variables what is random variables random variable is a way to assign the number to the possible outcome and these number represent the results of the outcome and vary from the trial to trial so just take a example of flipping a coin so if you are flipping a coin it would be a head or tail right so let's say we call as head to 1 and tail to 0 so assignment of these numbers to the outcome what is called a random variable just take a different example right a uh, rolling a dice so let's say you are rolling a dice you are playing a ludo or something and you are rolling a dice so there are six possibility either the face can come 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right so the similar way you can say the number which you are assigning right to the outcome is what we call a random variable so either you can assign 1 you can assign 2 you can assign 3 4 5 6 and 6 let's take a different example increasing of this uh, financial literacy uh, we'll talk about the stock market we always talk about the stock market and all so let's take a example from the stock market so every day when the stock market moves up or downs right there is a percentage of change we always see so let's talk about the uh, nifty 50 let's say nifty 50 today it's got 2% high or maybe next day it's uh, you know crash to 2 or 3% right so the number which is changing right it's actually a random variable so the outcome of change of the percentage is called a random variable so almost all different type of data which comes in the measurement right so there is two possibilities so there are two type of random variable which we always see one is discrete random variable and another is continuous random variable so continuous random variable we will see in the next section so today's topic is we are going to first discuss with the discrete random variable so in order to understand the discrete terms so what comes in the mind first is separate individual or distinct right so let's say 1 2 or 3 so these are the distinct values right 1 2 3 are distinct value so we call as a as a discrete uh, well variables right for example let's say you are rolling a dice 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these are a discrete values 1 2 3 4 5 because it has a discrete number it's a distinct individual number right so this is called a discrete uh, variables so there are six seven major category of discrete random variable but we are going to understand two majorly which is you know generally used across the board the first is the bernoulli distributions and the second is the binomial distributions so this comes in a discrete probability distributions so bernoulli distribution is basically highly used in a you know any sort of application because it has a prob 
probably the only two outcome either failure or success or yes or no so based on these there are a lot of applications around the bernoulli's distributions but binomial distribution is basically an extension of the bernoulli's distribution so our precise conversation we are going to do with the binomial distributions and we will come up with the formulas and will derive based on the prior experiment which we have done right so in 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 the last experiment using the same using the same experiment which we have done with the red and blue balls so as you can see here so let's say you don't have a resource to conduct the experiment but still you want to understand what could be the possibilities of your outcomes right so in the same example we have done with the 100 people right so we have conducted the uh, 100 people and we came up with the idea okay so uh, what could be the right combinations to you know understand the expected values so this chart is uh, very useful we are going to understand and will refer the same charts again and again uh, in order to you know complete our uh, hypothesis so you have a one bag which has three red balls and two blue balls right don't get confused with the uh, color so if i say x equal to 3 so x is a random variables where uh, x equal to 3 what could be the possible combination we we can see so how many possible combination we have seen for the uh, x equal to 3 where x is a number of red balls right so we had a three sorry we had a four we had a four possible combination where we can see the uh, red ball so you can say uh, so for x equal to 3 we can say probability of b b i am referring for the blue red i am referring for the red color r i am referring for the red color so this is the first combination another combination could be p equal to p r b r r and p r r b r and p of r r r and d so these are the only combinations which means first he has choose first blue balls and remains three consecutively th uh, red balls and similarly for the red blo bo red balls blue balls red 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 and red red blue red 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 and blue so what could be the uh, probability if let's say you have a five total number of total number is five right so what is the result for this p equal to b r r r right so if we say uh, just just recall the addition rule of chain so we can say here is probability for p equal to b is 2 by 5 probability of probability of r equal to 3 by 5 right so how many r's we have we have three r's right so p equal to r equal to 3 by 5 p equal to r equal to 3 by 5 so the uh, if we apply the addition rule of chain then uh, p of b r r r would be 2 by 5 into 3 by 5 into 3 by 5 into 3 by 5 which results to the which is equal to the 0 0.4 into 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 equal to 0 0.0864 right? similarly for the P equal to R B R R 
same result right 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 into 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 right 0 0.0864 so for the, all the combinations we will get the same results right uh, so we can say x equal to 3 we have 3r and 1 blue ball right so we can say 3 into for the r 3 by 5 right into what is the probability 1 into 2 by 5 we can calculate it will come 0 0.4 0 0.6 into 3 into 0 0.4 which is come 0 0.3456 so x equal to 3 the probability of x equal to 3 we will get 0 0.3456 similarly similarly for other combination right for p equal to x of 0 right x of 0 all 4 rows so 4 blue balls so you can just you know refer this uh, basically you can refer this word right? x equal to 0 so which means all blue balls right so for all blue balls what we will get we already has a 4 into 0 0.4 right into 0 0.4 into 0 0.4 into 0 0.4 which means 0 which means 0 0.4 power 4 equal to we can say uh, 0 0.025 6. Similarly for the p equal to p of x equal to 1 we can say you know how many combinations 4 possible combination we have um, so x equal to 1 how many combination we have we had uh, 4 combinations where 1 red balls and 3 blue balls with the different different positions right so similarly 1 red ball and 3 blue balls right so combination can be 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 into 0 0.4 into 0 0.4 so x equal to 1 we will get what 0 0.0384 similarly for x equal to 2 what we get how many combinations 6 combinations combination you can refer the one and then in the six combination we have six blue ball 0 0.4 two blue balls and 0 0.6 two red balls so it will come so two balls and two red balls so square and then how many combinations six combinations so we have 0 0.3456 you know let's let's put this into the table so as we can see in this table uh, for the 0 we have a 0 0.0256 1 and 2 for 3 and on and so on right so these are the probability which we have just now calculated if we just draw this so if we just draw this into the graph we will get x equal to 0 0 to 5 1 3 5 6 3 4 5 6 so this is the uh, probability which we have just now calculated from the table right so if you compare the older graph the older histogram graph which we have seen in the last video and the new graph which we are just now seen and calculated each and every for x equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 4 right so what is the difference if, if you see it's almost same right it's almost same distributions now pause the video and answer this question in a comment box why there is a diff slight difference so you have to answer this into the comment box right and then i will uh, definitely give the answers in the last last sections 
So just take a pause and I would say these kind of videos take a lot of times and efforts to create. So I firmly believe in the free educations and uh, I also learn a lot of things from the YouTubes. So if you like this video, these kind of videos, please do like, share and subscribe to this channel. It will give me a boost to, you know, create more, more contents on the educational side. So, so please like this video. Now go back to the video again. So now we have calculated this experiment without, you know, conducting any experiment out of it, right? So if I generalize the getting of red balls in a one trial as a P, so what will be the value of x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4? Let's see. So let's say getting, getting the red ball the prob in a one trial is p so p equal to p of x for 0 1 2 3 4 right let's calculate so for the 0 if we say for p equal to 0 which means we are seeing all the blue balls so what is the what is the probability for the all the blue balls 1 minus p Power 4. So, so if the probability of getting red balls is p, so probability of getting blue ball is 1 minus p. So similarly, in the case of 0, we have 1 minus p to the power 4. Right? Similarly, for the 1, there is only 1 red ball and 3 blue balls. So if you see 4p and 1 minus p power 3. So 3 and for the 1, we have a 4 combinations. For similarly, for the 2, we have a 6 combinations so 6 into p power 2 1 minus p power 2 so 2 red balls 2 blue balls and combination is 6 for the 3 we can say 4 combinations and p power 3 1 minus p and for the 4 we can say p power 4 because we get all the red balls so this is called a generalized probability so Let's simplify further and generalize this in a proper way. If you have a n number of com n number of trials, in the n number of trials you are getting r times a red ball. So what could be the probability of x equal to r? So probability of x equal to r would be means you are getting a red balls in n times in you know and the blue balls you are getting a some blue balls right. So in x equal to r, what we will get? You have a r times and you have a 1 minus r times. So how many combinations p combinations equal to p into p into p into and so on to, to n and 1 minus for the blue balls 1 minus p into 1 minus p into 1 minus p up to n so what we can say it's r time and this is 1 minus r times right sorry n minus r times and then we can say p power r into 1 minus p power n minus r right and similarly if you so this is for the x equal to r so how many combination can r contains right there is a n C R combinations uh, R can contain right so we can say in a general we can say N C R P power R into 1 minus P power N minus R right so the, the in the combination of N C R we can get the probability we can calculate the probability in this term so what what is this formula so this formula it's called so this formula we call a binomial distributions binomial formula right where p of x equal to r means n c r p power r 1 minus p power n minus r 
right so this is a general formula for the binomial equations where n is number of trial p is probability of success and r is number of success number of success after and trial right now we come to conclusion like we we derive the formula for the binomial distributions but there are some limitations with this binomial distributions in order to apply this binomial distributions we have to understand some four principles right and okay? in these four principles if you are applying within this boundary then only you can apply the binomial distributions so what are those four principles so, so these are the four principles so number of trials should be fixed two possible outcomes and constants probability and independence so let's let's understand this number of trials should be fixed so two possible outcomes either red or blue like if you're drawing, uh, so just take an example of the experiment which we have done, right? The game which we have played with the red and blue balls. So you take in uh, balls from the bag and it could be a red or blue, right? So there is two, only two possibilities. Either could be a red or could be a blue. Constant probability, right? Your probability is not varying, right? So let's say if you take in out a ball, red balls and keep it, keep aside right for, for some times so how many balls are remains in this bag only four balls is remain in this bag right so now the probability of getting next ball either red or blue got changed because you have only four balls in in it right so let's say red balls you have two red balls if it is you you are taking a red balls outside so you have a two red balls and two blue balls so now the probability got changed so probability should be constant so you should keep it back so you should keep it back the ball which you have keep aside right so now always the ball uh, size would be the five right so probability should not vary in that case so constant probability so and independence all the trials should be independence to each other what is the meaning of independence so all the trials should be independent if you are taking a ball either could be a red or blue so it is at independence and if, and you're putting back right again you are shuffling it and then you are drawing a ball right so it's, it's an independence trial right uh, it's not depending on the previous or not depending on the after right so this these four principles should be applied let's take this further and try to calculate the continuous probability and then we will come back to the original question why the uh, casino always uh, remain profitable in the longer run right what if i say i want to understand the more possibility of this outcome where x is less than equal to 3 so in order to understand this less than equal to 3 we have to come up with the cumulative probability so in, in the same in the same tables if i see if i say x equal to s is less than equal to 1 so what 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 could be the cumulative probabilities where x equal to 0 plus x equal to 1 right so what is the value of x equal to 0 if i say probability of x is less than equal to 1 it would be a 0 0.0256 plus 0 0.1536 right so the value would be so, so value would be 0 0.1792 correct so what if i say x equal to x is less than equal to 3 i want to see here right so in that case we need to calculate x equal to 0 plus x equal to 1 plus x equal to 2 plus x equal to 3 basically we have to add all these and in order to get the x probability of x less than or equal to 3 so what could be the value is somewhere around 0 0.8712 okay. i'm rough rough figure right and probability of x is less than or equal to 4 would be always 1 right because the probability range would be 0 to 1 right so the cumulative probability for the x is less than or equal to 4 would be 1 
so now you can easily see here only 87 percent chance when the x equal to 4 will be not coming no? so you can see you can refer this experiment 87 percent of time you will lose the game i mean player will lose the game only 13 percent of the time he will win the match so now coming back to the original questions which we have cumulative probability we will also see in the next section in the continuous probability but in order to just give you a context right uh, how this can be calculated so you can easily see if x is less than or equal to 3 you are uh, chances of getting uh, uh, you know if the player is playing 87 percent time he will lose the game and only 13 percent time he will win the match now coming to the uh, original question which we had why casino always remain profitable in a longer run so what they do they keep a negative expected value expected value we have seen in the last video so they always try to keep a negative expected value so that the chances of winning the match for the house is always remain you know higher so that's why they they use a probability they use a probability distributions to understand everything all the games they design in a such a way so that they can always profitable in the longer run so that's it from this video and we will see in the next video continuous distribution probabilities and also please do check out my previous video it will always help you in order to understand the concepts so till then bye bye